Okay, I finally got the EZIP E400. This is uh, to replace the S400, which died three years ago, but now I'm interested in working on again. And the Schwinn's getting fixed. And... But yeah, this is the new one. The 400 is the newest one. It's, this one was manufactured in April of 2010, so it's very new. Got it for a hundred bucks, which is really good because these things sell for two ninety-nine new. And this thing has been ridden once, or so they say. I don't even think it's been ridden once. And they um, gave me a great deal on it. A D and G scooter parts in Zephyr Hills, Florida. That's where this place is. That I got it from. And there's no rust. Not it's perfect shape. It's hard to find such a good deal on this thing. So I'm gonna do some more videos on this a little later, but right now I'm just gonna take this thing around the garage just to kind of see what. How quickly this thing picks up because I haven't ridden it yet. <laughs> okay. This thing's got aftermarket brakes, I think. You know, well, they're not really aftermarket brakes, they're really made on the same, in the same frame's in perfect shape on the Schwinn. I don't let anybody touch this thing. I keep it as clean as I possibly can. And, again, the Schwinn's been mine now for about two or so, two and a half years, maybe three, I don't know. But, and it's been, I got it new, but it was, it was a year old when I got it, even though I got it new. It sat in the box the back of a Target warehouse for about three years. And now it's well and good. It's just it's got the tire problem and the and it's got And it's also got, well, we put the new tire on it, and it run, it should run good, but they, um, the tube is actually, a new tube that we got actually popped. So, we got another new tube, and we're going to put that in. Now I have this one, too, the, um, 400, so, tomorrow, this weekend, I need to get Apple stickers for this one. Like I have an Apple sticker. On, I need to get a new Apple sticker. That one's starting to peel off. But I need to get an Apple sticker for this one. Make it look really cool. So, yeah, this will be the new... Um, this uh, 400 right here, this will be my primary scooter 
until the Schwinn is repaired, which it should be repaired about two days, and then I'll be riding it again. And then, in fact, this one's actually got the original stickers and stuff to tell you how long you need to charge it. It's been a while since those have been on the Schwinn. I'm proud to say that I own this thing because it's so rare. And I'll be doing a bunch of new videos with the Schwinn and with the E-Zip. The E-Zip... The E-Zip isn't... Don't expect it to be quite as fast as the Schwinn, but it's definitely got good pickup speed. And it's a lot newer, so we'll see how it performs. But, as always, I'm sure the Schwinn will be fastest one I got, 25 miles an hour. It's got the engine kit mod on it, and very reliable scooter, except for the fact that the tire popped. And I hope this one will be the same, because I'm not going to kit mod this thing. I'm going to keep this one stock. Just like I kept that one stock. Except for the fact that it's got the custom basket and the aftermarket brakes. It's the only things that aren't. And the sport mod's also stock. And I'll be doing more videos with the sport mod because I'm putting it on. I've got lights on the sport mod now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Hold on. It's got like, sensor triggered lights. Hold on. There we go. So these things light up. And when you ride this, it makes the wheels look like they're like green. It's really cool. And as um, they're called tire flies. And I'll show you where to get those in another video. But I need to get some. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to put any stickers on this one. I didn't put any stickers on the Schwinn. It's got, this is the only one that's got stickers. It's got the hula girl. It's got the fish. And it's got um, all my sponsor labels on the back of it. So, yeah, this will be, um, and by the way, today is October 22nd, 2010, and I'm guessing that, I'm thinking about going trick-or-treating, even though I'm kind of too old to trick-or-treat. I'm thinking about going trick-or-treating with, um, Joe, so I can see Joe again. I'm thinking about going trick-or-treating with Joe, with this thing. I've been think, um, you guys need to answer this question for me. Which one should I bring trick-or-treating? I'll probably bring both. But which one should I use more often? The new E-Zip or the Schwinn? And these are the advantages of both. The Schwinn has the kit mod that after five minutes it allows it to jump from 15 to 25 miles an hour, making it a lot faster. This thing, don't know what the top speed um, this thing has 15 miles an hour. This is really weird. It says it's 15 miles per hour stock for this thing. This only says, it only says, this thing has only has a maximum speed of 10 miles an hour. I think they mean 18. It's supposed to go 18. That's how fast the 500s go. And I think they just put the wrong label on there. I never understood that. And, but, Write, write to me under the comments. Tell me which one I should bring uh, trick or treating because this one, the Schwinn obviously has a lot more power and is a lot faster. But then this thing has. It seems like that it'll have better traction than the Schwinn. Well, I don't know. The Schwinn's got new tires on it now, so it should do pretty good. But then this thing's got a basket in the back of it, so I can stuff candy and stuff in there. And I'm trying to think of stuff I'll do on Halloween. We jump out with the girls and stuff like we did last year, which I don't have any of it on video, but this year I will with my night vision camera. And the Schwinn is good uh, for escaping things, even though the Schwinn doesn't right away go to its top speed because of the mod. But the E-Zip, however, this thing seems to just jump straight to top speed which would be a good thing, but then the Schwinn can cover more ground in a shorter time, meaning I can get over to Joe's house and back in the Schwinn in about probably under two minutes in the Schwinn. And this thing, I never rode the S400 to Joe's house, so I really don't know, but I'm, the, the uh, sport mod takes about five minutes to get there, and 
This thing, I'm guessing, to be in the middle, I'd say it would take about three and a half minutes to get there. And keep in mind, again, this thing can, can stuff candy in here, and this would be probably a lot better. But, again, Joe is probably going to be in his golf cart, which his golf cart is the, it's not really a golf cart, it's a dumb, called a, a Ford Think. It's a, uh, like a, little car kind of thing. And so and the thing goes like sixty miles an hour, but he's only gonna be doing twenty through his neighborhood, so the shrimp would be good for that, but then the thing can hold candy, which is good. I think most likely if he's not driving the golf cart, he'll be on this thing and I'll be on the Schwinn. Or vice versa, he may be on the shrine, and I may be on this thing. And, and Sean will be on his whenever he gets another one, because his first one got stolen, the second one died, and now I don't know what's going to happen when he gets a new one, but hoping for the best. And if he comes over, he's going to have his, which is an E500, which seems to have more torque than the Schwinn, has the same amount of torque as this thing, but, again, the Schwinn goes a little faster than the E500, even though they're the same scooter, the, the Sean's E500 doesn't have the kit mod on it, so it won't go as fast, it's not broken, it won't be broken in either, and, So yeah, just tell me which one I should ride for the trick-or-treating. Saying right now, if it runs, I'm saying I will most like... If I'm riding around, like, the block around my house, I'll be on the 400, but if I'm going over to Joe's, I'll definitely take the 500, because another thing that I forgot about, but now I need to remind you guys about, is to keep in mind I have to cover about an acre of grass in order to get to Joe's house. Like grass and wetland around that lake. So, I don't know, even though that thing has fat tires, I don't know if it'll be able to clear the, the mud. So the Schwinn can easily glide through the mud. Another good thing about this, is I, I can't remember how this worked with the other one, but, um, this one shouldn't kick mud up under my feet. Like, that's one bad thing about the Schwinn. Is if I'm, I'm in the mud, when you're going through the mud, it kicks up mud because there's no fender or anything. But this thing's kind of lower to the ground, so it would kick up less mud. Then I wonder how this short back fender is going to play a role in that because I don't want mud on my butt. And so, if any of you guys see me riding around on one of these things, you'll know it's me. If you know me, you probably know that my name is Matthew. So yeah, these are the scooters this year. This is what's going to be happening until probably December, this is what I'm going to be riding.